Mheshimiwa Prime Minister karibu hapa kwa mazishi ya maumau. Babako mzazi Jaramogi tulimtambua sana kwa kupigania wanyonge. Hasa alipigania watu ya maumau. Nadi aliandika kitabu akasema not yet uhuru. Kwa sababu uhuru ulipatikana lakini mashamba haiko patikana. And he was right and he was on spot on. Wewe umejulikana kwa kupigania haki ya wakenya wale wanyonge. Ningekuuliza kwa heshima uige baba yako pigania mashamba ya maumau na wale ambaye wako na hiyo mashamba unawajua ni marafiki zako utusaidie hapo kati huo atutaidie eni sasa mnasema tumnatetea haki ya wananchi fertilizer ikiwa shilingi ya rufu saba kwa serikali ya handshake kwa nini hamko fanya maandamano saa hii tumeteremsha ni 2500 maandamano ni yakasi gani eh kati huo adwa itu ni maragia na leo ndeke mara tu era mututigithie mututigithie bwana former prime minister I agree with you 100% our constitution has express provision for demonstrations picketing and all that goes with it that is true and that is why we allowed you and your people to do it but what you did was not demonstration ilikuwa ni kuharibu mali ya wakenya ilikuwa ni ukopora mali ya wakenya ilikuwa ni wizi ya mali ya watu ya kenya ilikuwa ni kupiga polisi na mawe that cannot be allowed in this republic na ndio tumesema hakuna we will not allow you again so vile mmesema mtazungumza endelea na mazungumzo sisi tumetuma kemani ichongwa wewe umetuma kalonzo waendelee mimi na rais tuko kwa mambo ya barabara tuko kwa mambo ya maji tuko kwa mambo ya stima jana tumekuwa hapa shamata mambo ya barabara mnataka tufanye kazi ama tuende mazungumzo Eh? Yeah? Toruta wera ka tuthie mialio. Sisi tuko kwa kazi. Lakini if you agree na muache fujo na muache kuharibu mali ya watu, muache kuibia wa Kenya, we have no problem. Kupiga tu kelele kutoka asubuhi alafu muende nyumbani, no problem. Lakini kuguza mali ya mtu, mwe. Hasa, hasa. Hata kama mnataka kuharibu ya wa Kenya muharibu kwenu. Hawa watu ya Mount Kenya hawa kazi yao ni kutafuta mali na kulinda mali These people do not know anything about destruction of property Their work is to look for property and to protect property Kati huo Na ndio mwangi wa iria na wale wengine mnafuata hiyo maneno ya maandamano from this region we don't understand you Our community is for looking and putting together and protecting and enhancing Kawera hizo tiko shaje na kuramata. So watu wale wa sehemu hii wanaenda kuharibu mali ya watu ati ni maandamano. Nilisikia wengine wanasema ati Kenya itakanywa mara mbili. Kenya gani? Hii ya William Ruto na Legathi Gachagua. Inawezekana kweli? So wacha tu kuelewa let's be honest with each other. Former prime minister, you demonstrate you picket, but let it be peaceful. And this country all the demonstrations you have led none has ever been peaceful they have all been violent and that is why the government will not allow any demonstration anywhere i'm telling you ukiwa hapa si mimi niko eh niko niko ah uh, prime minister umesema niko na deni ya huyu mzee that is true now we were waiting for him to get well and i was monitoring his his uh, performance akiendelea ndio ametuacha and i am going to call a meeting of 10 leaders of maumau Prime Minister umesema utakuja huko ujiunge na hawa karibu. Wewe unajua kamete vizuri. Na wewe umesema mimi sijui kamete it is true. Lakini Rais Uhuru Kenyatta na wewe mlikuwa mnipangia kwenda kamete Mungu akakataa. Si ni Mungu alikataa. Bali niwekelea makesi ya uongo ati nifungwe. Ati kwa sababu nimekataa kuunga huyu mzee mkono. Na mimi sikuwa na maneno. I had my right and choice ya William Ruto. So mimi it's true I have no experience in kamete and god amenisaidia mlitaka niende hapo mungu akaraniokoa so wewe tutakualika kuja tusaidiane from your experience in committee if there is some useful information you can offer tusaidiane finally former prime minister my brother hatukatai salamu hatukatai maongeo what do we say somebody who has been beaten by a black snake 
Even when you see a black pot, you run away. And it's good I tell you today because you are here and you have raised the matter. We fear you. Ulikuja unakapata na mtoto wetu Kenya Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa mtu mzuri. Alitupenda. Alitufanyia kazi. Mliposhikana na yeye akageuka. Akija kwako alikuwa anacheka. Akija hapa hapo na makasiriko. Tukakuwa na wasiwasi. That is the reason and I must tell you that is why tukisikia mambo ya salamu tunakuwa na uoga. Mimi mwenyewe Uhuru Kenyatta I was his personal assistant. He was my best buddy. Tulikuwa tunakula pamoja, tunakunywa pamoja, anatebea kwangu, natebea kwake, watoto wetu walikuwa marafiki, akanigeuka mimi arara kunifunga. That is why we fear. I must tell you today because the twaka deke mwire. That is why when Uhuru Kenyatta before ashikana na wewe alikuwa anaenda kanisani kila Jumapili. Muliposhikana hakwenda kanisani tena. That is, the, that is why tuko na wasiwasi. Lakini if you are sure as hakuna kitu tafanyika kwa rais wetu mkipatana muendelee. Lakini sisi katika area hii tunaoopa. Na ugade mwere tondo ni wewe ariya ndoisho. Kona anaria digia mwera. Ana ugade turetigira meario. Timi ariyo turetigira ni wewe turetigira. Ni ule ni ule atu ikire na uhuru wa Kenya hata. Na no, and we are still crying for our child, Uhuru Kenyatta. We pray for him so that God can heal his heart. Because we don't know what happened after the handshake. He was a great man. He was a great leader. He was compassionate. After that handshake, he became brutal. He became dictatorial. He became intolerant. We don't know what happened.